I don't know about that, but yeah, so Mark, I am here to tell you about Animalchemist. So this is our new game coming to Kickstarter August 20th this year, so just after Gen Con. Animalchemists, as you can tell, are animal alchemists who will be crafting uh, potions and casting spells. So the idea behind it is the spellcaster with the best spells at the end of the game wins. So each of the spells have a different point value. You're going to start out by using whichever character you are. So each player is going to get one of the animal alchemists. They all have a different affinity, so some of them are specialized in different ingredients, so they can use more of that ingredient. So the way it works, on your turn you're going to take two cards, whether they're ingredients that are seen or visible, or from the deck. You can take ones that you don't know what they are. So depending on what you draw, say I take the mushroom and the honey, I can then take these two and go, I'm going to craft one of the incense. So that next turn, when I take that potion, it's going to go into my, my own little tableau area here. So from that, I could then cast a spell if there's something that's available. So the following turn, I'll use my potion. When I use the incense, I'll discard it, so it goes to an empty potion, and I'm going to take the Awaken spell. Awaken then comes over to my area, and I can use that spell if I want to cast it right away, or I can save it until later. Because this one, for example, says choose a player and they discard two ingredients of their choice. Well, if you don't have any cards in hand, I'm going to wait a little while to use that one. Once I use a spell, it flips over, so you can only use each spell once, but I can still score it at the end of the game. And each of the spells is worth either 5, 10, or 15 points. All of the potions are worth 3 points at the end of the game, and all the ingredients are worth 1 point. So depending on exactly what you do and what you aim for, you can get a lot of points throughout the game. At the end of each player's turn, any ingredients that were taken replenish. So depending on what's available in the ingredient row, say I'm playing as the honey badger here, he specializes in honey. And an additional action to my turn, I can use the honey badger, flip him over to his full art side, and I take all honey that are available in the ingredients row. All of the characters have completely unique art on both sides. We have a new artist working with us who did a fantastic job really making these characters stand out. Really cool artwork, even on our prototype version. We're really excited to see this one come to life. So August 20th, a little bit after Gen Con. Might see you there. Otherwise, hope to see you in stores.